All right, here is a short video on the continuation of chi-squared goodness of fit test. Um, there are some limitations that can occur within this test. In order for chi-squared to be distributed appropriately, the sample size n, so how many pieces of data you collect, must be sufficiently large. Generally, n is sufficiently large if none of the expected frequencies are less than one. In cases where there are expected frequencies less than one, we need to combine similar categories to get more reliable data. So here's an example. When investig investigating the number of serious sports injuries treated by a hospital, the following expected frequencies are calculated. So these are your expected. And then these are your categories, your age groups. Um, since the expected frequencies of two age groups are less than five, we need to combine them. So in the new combined chart, we kept the 10 to 15 from the original chart. And then the 15 to 20 we kept. And then the 20 to 30 we kept. And then we combined these three totals. So anyone 30 and older, we added their expected frequencies. Then what you would do is you'd go through the six steps with the combined new chart.